<gasps> no! I was trying to help you, Doc! All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello. Welcome back to my crib, niggas. Yeah, I switched it up today, bro. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? I'm in my house, you're in yours, bro. I know y'all like, why did you start the video so aggressively? Cause it's another game where I gotta prove myself against y'all, bro. And it's, the energy's always hostile. You remember like a few weeks, uh, you remember a month back? I know it's been a while. You remember like a month? and a half back. I played Man in the Window 2. I played both of them, but I did play Man in the Window 2. And I went in there super confident, super uh, brave, invigorated, rigmarole. And I messed up maybe like three times, bro. I go in the comments, everybody's saying, I don't know what I'm doing. Now we're right back with another Zed Technician game, bro. I promise. Last video with the Man in the Window 2, I was gonna play more of his games. Today we are checking out the Vermander Curse. Same style, but I imagine the theme behind it is different. I think I might be the bad guy this time. This is a game that makes you use your doodle out gotta, bro. Your noggin, bro, your brain. I gotta make better decisions. Really, that's what it comes down to. I know we started all the way, all the way up here and got right back down into the same conclusion. It's on me. What? Good job, welcome back. A to a, another video to today. Uh, what? For another video to, to uh, yeah. What's the Vermander curse? I'm glad you asked. JP Vermander has a problem in his eyes. He's been swindled, with the offending party being none other than the local hospital. And by using the power of a ritualistic curse, he will have his revenge. Oh yeah, nah, bro, I'm the issue here. I hope I lose, actually. So if I lose, we still win, y'all. So go easy on me, all right? Let's get into it. The Vermander Curse, a Zed Technician game. Shout out my boy Zed Technician, you're doing great work. Start a new game, absolutely, let's go. What was sitting in that chair, a bat? What was that? Okay. Yo, Zed Technician got a type, bro. You can tell, bro, he got a type. You wanted to see me, Mr. Vermander, sir? Zed, speak to her, bro. Hell nah, bro. Look at his face, bro. Look at the bottom left corner. He think he is so fly. Are you high? He's a high red pillar. Look at his, look at, look at his teeth, bro. That's an alpha, bro. A, a, a phony one. He might be black. He got dreadlocks. Hannah. Why aren't this month's profits as high as last month's? I've been looking over that piece of paper you've given me earlier, I, whoops. And I don't like all the numbers on it. I can't make heads or tails out of that dang thing. Sir, uh, they, they raised the threshold on how much you need to donate in order to get your tax deduction. R remember, sir, I, I just told you yesterday, sir. They did. What? When was this? Uh, sir, relax, sir. I've been reminding you about this for at least at least eight months, sir. But it, but it's actually fine though. You you still end up saving way more money than if you didn't get the deduction. So with the good Lord as my uh, bro, I feel like JoJo. I need that eagle that eagle sound effect. <gasps> with the good Lord as my witness, I am being swindled, and I will not stand for this. You're too cool in the picture to talk like this, bro. Let me let me try and match his facial expression. The good Lord as my witness, I am being swindled. <laughs> I will not stand for this. It's almost like a like a like a like a Franklin Saint energy before Franklin actually lost all of his money, which I hope I didn't just spoil the entire show for y'all. Sorry. No one gets over on JP Vermander. No, sir. Not now. Not ever. But sir. Now then. Where have I been donating all my hard-earned money to again? A hospital, sir. Hospital? Which one? Is this, this might be her, his daughter, low key. Why are her lips like that? There's only one in town, sir. Like Amanda Bynes. Not even Amanda Bynes. Well, you remember all that back in the day on Nickelodeon? The girl who used to do that random ass little like news show. I can't remember her name. She don't even act no more. Steve Harvey show, she was in, that's all I can remember. The only hospital in this glut for seeking backwater town and they still have the nerve to swindle me out of my money. Well, how to handle the situation like this. Prepare the ritual, Hannah, and go fetch me my robes. The ritual? But Mr. Vermander, sir, please. This is entirely uncalled for. The, the people in that hospital have done nothing to you, sir. Besides, the difference in profits between this month and last month is only about 1% less, sir. Hannah, 
one percent or not you lied you lied you said that you said you make more money without the tax deduction you lied hannah now i gotta go through with it that's nice and all hannah but i don't remember asking bitch. we don't want the recipe to your mom's peach cobbler bitch. hannah you can come you can come work for um Berlizzi industries i'll offer you a job never call you out your name like vermander just did great work environment no benefits yet but we working on it now go we don't have time to waste Notify me immediately when everything is ready. Okay, sir. Oh, I play as Hannah? Is that what this is? Who the f is this, bro? Bro, is that me? My name is Snoop Dogg done walked in the building, y'all. Hello? <laughs> no disrespect, Snoop. I love you, bro. Anyone home? I hear ya. I hear ya. Give, give a gal a minute. I need to see what Zed Technician look like, bro. Then we got Medea walking in slow to the office, bro. Look at her nose, y'all. Let me do it for you. Didn't I do it for you? Like, bro, look at how Zed model her... <laughs> Model her body, bro. Like, why did he put that ending in the middle? Make him go like this, bro. Never to see each other again. Ah, hello there. Dr. Etta, I presume. Eda, yep. That's me. Who's asking? Fantastic. I'm Morton, the nurse whose transfer request you received. Transfer request? What in the world are you talking about? You want to wear? Surely you've read the email concerning me. We don't get no regular internet out here, sonny boy. Only thing we can get out here is that old satellite connection. And we ain't got that either. But if you're here to help, then I ain't, I ain't about to complain. You got a lot to learn, so you better pay attention, because I'm only saying this once. I'm all ears, doctor. That looked like me coming in, bro. I used to try and rock the, the ring earrings, bro. The hoop, the hoop earrings. Nobody told me to take them dumbass shits on my ear, bro. I had to wait till my own, and then everybody was like, oh, yeah, no, that's, that's a good look without it. Like, bro, tell me the truth. When patients come in, I write their information down on this here clipboard. Wouldn't it be better to use the computer instead? No. Damn! The waiting room is over here. Ain't much to say about it. All the magazines are older than I am and ain't none of them worth reading no more. Oh my. Bro, I need to see what you look like, Zed. Like, we got eight rooms. Three are occupied and the rest ain't. Mr. Lang Boyd is over here, is uh, room 7A. He had a pretty bad back injury, but we fixed him right up. Miss Tammy Giles is in room 5A. She needed one of them teeth pulled and we ain't got many options for anesthetic. So I gave her some of that old fashioned medicine I keep under the sink. What is that, bourbon? Weed? She'll be a little dizzy for a while, but everything else went smooth as silk. Old school medicine, that sounds like cocaine, bro. I think that, bro, I watched a show back in the day where like coke was used for like medicinal purposes. I can't remember the name of the show though. Impressive. Uh, there's a woman over in 4A too. Poor thing cut her hand up real bad on her job, then tried to hide it. Her boss found out and sent her here. I ain't managed to figure out her name. So I wrote her down as Jane Doe and patched her up. Ah, a mystery. I wonder who she is. We ain't known to ask too many questions around here, Mr. Morton. We're, we're here to help. Got it? Understood, doctor. Okay, Morton been hitting the gym, though. Hey, Morton. We got two bathrooms, an operating room, and something like a kitchen. Oh, excellent. The lights in here don't work half the time. We, we keep our medicine supply in the OR, but most of the bottles are empty because the budget ain't paying to refill them. And there ain't nothing ever in the fridge, so don't even bother checking, okay? Oh, does anything in this hospital function as intended? Not really. That's about it. Let's head back on to the front desk so we can get you signed in and start your first shift. That old sign-in sheet is somewhere over there. I suggest you go ahead and start searching for it yourself because I ain't about to come look for it. Understood, doctor. I'll find it. In the meanwhile, I'd better go make my rounds and check up on the patients. Come and get me if you need something. Oh, hell yeah. Way better, way better character choice. Is that my nose? <laughs> my nose and my tits. Um, so I'm just checking on patients right now. This is, this has a way deeper storyline than the other ones. Pretty cool. Bathroom. Oh, yes. 
Games never do this. All right, nothing yet, nothing. Okay, all right, all right. Bruh, yo, Zed, we need to talk, bro. We need to talk. I'm gonna hit you on Instagram. Like, what's going on? This is this is like a step above furry at this point. How you doing, dear? Okay. And is fine, no? You ain't got nothing to worry about. It'll regrow back good as no. Good. Thank you. You are most welcome, dear. Try to get some rest, and I'll check back in later. Yes. yes. No. Oh, this is fire. This is fire. I'm, stop. I wasn't checking her out like that, bro. Stop, bro. I was just pushing A and D, y'all. Stop. Just pushing A and D, y'all. How you feeling, dear? Oh, my gosh, bro. What is this called? A, a, an Oaxoacle or something like that? Like that Pokemon-looking fish? Hey, Dr. Ida, what are you doing here? Still ain't sobered up. Oh, she's drunk. Still ain't sobered up yet, huh? No. That's fine, dear. At least that tooth ain't gonna bother you no more. Oh, that's the... I'm not gonna lie. When when I went back to the deck, says Morton, I didn't remember any of the conversation they had, bro. I'm just reading. You're trying to find something funny to, to respond to, bro. I'm gonna immerse from now on. Rest of the channel this year, fully immersed, no jokes. At least that tooth ain't gonna bother you no more. How is that cocaine, though? Just give us some time and try to get some rest, okay? Okay. Enjoy room 5A because next door to uh, 4A is the octopus lady that uh, lost a hand. Whoa. You almost scared me. Everybody in here in this, in this game is just thick as hell, bro. Everything all right in here? I'm fine, Doc. Matter of fact, I feel like I can walk out of here right now. <laughs> Ow. See, he can't even laugh without it hurting him. This is exactly why I said, Lang, baby, please stay off the roof. It's dangerous. We can pay someone else to clean the gutters. Did he listen? No. He waited until I left for work and then tried to get up there himself. One little gust of wind, and next thing you know, bam, straight into the hedges. You know, I could have done it if the wind hadn't picked up. That's not the point. You shouldn't have been up in the first place. Doctor. Can you please give this man something to fix his terminal lack of common sense, please? Sorry, honey. We ain't got nothing to fix that. Now, you two try to take it easy, all right? I'll be back later on. All right. Well, that's everyone. I better get back on to Mr. Morton. Okay. Oh, my gosh. And it was such a slow turn, bro. It was such a slow... It, it, bro, you know why it scared me? Because it took control of my shit. The phone started ringing while you were gone, so I answered it. The caller won't stop going on and on about rituals and demons. Among other things that I don't understand. Oh, yeah, that's Mr. Farquhar. I think that it might be best if you talk to her. <sighs> There's always something. Come on, Hannah. Don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Honey, honey, slow down. Ain't none of this making sense. Please. You have to get out of there right now. Oh! My boss just summoned an actual, genuine demon, and now you're all in danger. Uh-huh. And who do you work for again? J.P. Vermander, madam. Who is that, doctor? He's some rich city who moved out here when he inherited his family's estate. A lot of folks around here have to pay him rent just because his family owns all the land. Yes, that's him exactly. I don't know all the details, but there's a blood pact and a demon and a curse and all kinds of other stuff. You need to leave now. Once the clock strikes 10, you won't be able to leave. It's 10 o'clock right now. Honey, that's less than two minutes. Ain't no way we getting everyone out of here that fast? My goodness. I didn't expect the stakes to be this high on my first night, but I'm committed at this point. Okay, Morton, relax, bro. You could have easily just turned around and left. You didn't even meet the patients yet. You walked down the hallway and came back to the phone. I'm out of here if I'm him. Is there anything we can do to help our situation? Well, no, nah, that's not true. I mean, low key, cause like, like we know, we know her now, right? We know the doctor, but we didn't know her before. And Morton don't know the whole conversation she's just having with three pay. I'm out of there. I'm out of there. Judge me if you want. I'm not helping this. I did go snooping into a few old journals kept by the Remanders. Based on what I've read, you can make it to sunrise. The demon will leave. That's six hours. But there's a bunch of rules you'll need to follow in order to keep yourself safe. For example, every hour until sunrise, the demon will enter the place it was summoned to. It will travel down the nearest hallway in search of blood, specifically your blood. Its own rules prevent it from opening doors to search for you. So keep those closed. What room are you both in right now? The reception area. You'll need to keep that in mind, all right? When the demon arrives, make sure you all are in the same 
room as when the ritual started. If someone isn't, the demon will know. And once it knows where someone is, closing the doors won't stop it. You're ready. I can tell you what to expect once 10 o'clock hits. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, bro. Is that technician, bro? You're a wizard, technician. I ain't about to let no demon run run rough roughshod in my, in my... What? I ain't about to let no demon run roughshod over my house of healing. Just tell us what we need to do, honey. Okay, here's what's going to happen first. The demon places a lot of emphasis on windows for some reason, right? It'll try to use its powers to open up windows around itself. You're going to need, and I cannot stress this enough, you're going to need to close any and all windows before the hour is up. Leave one open, the demon gets stronger, and you don't want that, all right? If you finish with everything you need to do before the hour is up, try staring at a clock. I'm sure it will help pass the, the extra time faster. I'll stay on the line just in case you need me to repeat something. Good luck and please be careful. Hold on, the player's calling. Uh, player. What's she up to? Uh, big recording. Say what's up, player. <laughs> Right there. Uh, I get, I don't know, I say it. When I go back to uh, uh, Malibu, I get that caribou rum. Everyone drinking that caribou rum. They're smoking rum. All right. All right. Thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. A round of applause for uh, whoever Joy goes uh, role play character, y'all. Bro, I don't remember how to do anything she just said. Okay, all I know is close all the windows, right? Okay, let's start. Let's start. Let's start. I don't play with demons, bro. No, sir. I don't know why he's just standing there doing like like bro are you waiting to fight him i mean he has been hitting the gym you finna get clobbered idiot okay windows is closed doors is closed close i gotta close all the doors just in case yep 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 or hey y'all good yep they don't need to be warned about what's what's coming bro that's only gonna spike their blood levels uh, there it is nice or blood pressure, I mean. Okay. Kitchen. A window in here. Nice. An operating room. What is this? The pain meds are kept here. Pick them up? Sure. Doctor, are things usually this hectic around here? Not really. We usually got no more than about one or two patients in here at once. We got three in here tonight. That's not really what I meant. I don't understand, like... Time was 11 p.m. All the windows had been closed, and then it arrived. Did I just die? Oh, so that was supposed to happen. Okay, even better. That demon it was in here. I ain't never seen nothing move that quick before. It swooped Mr. Morton up like it was nothing. Oh no. This is a house of healing. How dare that Vermander do this to us? We just wanna help people. Believe me, ma'am. I know, we can deal with him later. Right now, we need to focus. You'd be surprised how much demons, how much the demon's powers resonate with electronics. It can gain access into the phone lines and try to gain power too. If you notice the phone con continuously ringing, then that's exactly what it's trying to do, all right? Now, this is gonna sound crazy, but you'll need to pick up the phone and listen. Pay attention because this part is important. If you hear anything, and I mean anything on the other end, you gotta recite this mantra. Your presence is now welcomed here. You must depart immediately. Don't worry, you'll remember it when the time comes. That lets me know they're gonna say it for me, thank you. But if there's silence on the other end of the phone, then be quiet. Silence means it hasn't probably figured out the phone's location yet. You don't want to give it any clues, all right? Yeesh. Yeesh. All right, same routine. Close the windows. You listen closely. You don't hear anything from the other side of the phone. Say nothing sense that the presence on the other end of the phone has departed. Am I still supposed to be taking care of my guests? Like, 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 is that, is that, is that part of this? You good? Here, this will help with easing the pain. Yes, good. Oh, get your bit. Get your big ass back in the bed. Hey, there's some lady in the mirror looking at me. That's you, honey. You need to go on and get yourself back to your room now. <laughs> my bad. I'll go back now. 
Thank you with your drunk ass. Yep, sit there. Some socks on too. Your feet making the whole house smell like Funyuns. Y'all good? Good job, Lang. Now you're probably gonna have to miss work. Who knows how they'll react? Heck, and now I'm missing work. I know. We'll be fine. Watch, good morning. I'm gonna walk out of here good as new. I sure hope so. I know she is pissed, bro. She must be a streamer, bro. I would have the same exact. No, I wouldn't, bro. Not even. I don't even be streaming like that. YouTuber content, something like that. You know, you feel me, bro? An entrepreneur. I'll just, I'll just label it that. She's definitely self-employed. Let's go. O R. Yep. Get more pains. More pain meds. Yep. I believe we're good. I believe we're good. Let's go. The time was 12 a.m. All the windows had been closed. All the phones had been answered correctly. And then it arrived. So far, so good, y'all. Unless he's gonna about, unless he's about to kill me, then I lost, bro. Cause I was supposed to hide in a room, huh? Yeah, it's over. It's over. But how do I get the time to hit the hour if? Wow, no one could make sense of it. Doctor Ida and Nurse Morton had suddenly disappeared without a trace. No sign, of bro. That was Doctor Ida to run things. The hospital that had faithfully served the community for a decade stood abandoned. Now unable to get the med medical help that they so heavily relied on, but none had suffered more as much as Morton's now orphan daughter. She was now alone in a completely unfamiliar town with no idea what could have possibly happened to her father. The truth, however, was only known by Hannah. She feared what might happen should Vermander ever figure out her involvement in trying to prevent. What she wanted more than anything was to pack up, leave town, and go somewhere very far away. So, <clears throat> somewhere she could be safe. I know how to do this. I got to stay in that room to the left and then look through the window. But her meager salary as a secretary didn't allow for this. So she continued on working for someone she both feared and despised, too afraid of what he might do should she try to quit. With Hannah's silence, no one could ever tie the disappearances back to anyone or anything. J.P. Vermander got away without cons. Untold amounts of misfortune had been brought upon. Bruh, come on, Zed. Come on, bro. But in the end, Vermander got to keep his extra one person. Mm. And that's all that matters. Oh, tomato, 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 more tomatoes. I can't even continue. Maybe I'm not supposed to stare at it the entire like 212. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she talks about how her hand got hurt. I tired on work. Sleep for a minute, then hand caught. Well, sleep at work and that's how it got like that? Yes. Oh, you poor thing. Well, at least try to get some rest while you're here, all right? No! I think he dies anyway, but that is how you do it. Why didn't he turn down the hallway this time? Oh, okay, we doing better, we doing better. This feels, I don't know, I don't know. Here's what's gonna happen next. The demon will try to draw power from any lights it can gain access to, all right? You'll, you'll know it's inside a room trying to siphon power when the lights start flickering. Oh, this is complex. When it happens, all you need to do is enter a room, close the door and shut your eyes for a few seconds. seconds. You're really gonna need to use the space inside your mind to focus for this to work. Space bar, you'll know when it works when the lights stop flickering and make sure you do it right, okay? If you don't, and after you look tired, it's because I am. Let me handle things this hour. You should rest. Okay, Morton. Doctor, why is this hospital in the state that it's in? What do you mean by that? Well, there's hardly any supplies here and you seem to be understaffed. Plus we're lacking a lot of modern equipment. Mr. Morton, we're a small hospital in an even smaller town. We ain't got much to work with here. We take what we have and make it work. I'm just looking for flickering lights. There we go. How long do I gotta hold the space bar? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I'm going. I don't she says she's fine, so she don't need a pain med. I'm a I'm a overdose, bro. <gasps> no! 
was trying to help you, Doc. I'm done. I'm done. Wow. This sucks. Oh. Mr. Morton ain't got back yet. So I just had to get back here at the, at, the stop, at the start of the hour. This is a house of healing. Here we go. Here we go. There's something about the demon's power that resonates with TV signals, right? It will turn on any TV it can manage to gain access to. They never show anything besides static once it takes control, but that's still bad. If it happens, just turn the TV off. That'll kick it out for a while, but don't leave any TVs that it's controlling on, all right? It won't end well. Let's work. It's noon already? That's midnight, darling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So it's like I gave me two lives because this is so complex, but I, I know better now. I know better now. This is the one. This is the one. Bruh. I gotta move faster than this. Into the thick of it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Nah, that light stuff is just used to make you waste, waste time. Straight up, bro. Come on. How are, are you need pain meds? You good? You good? Okay, okay sure, 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 sure. I already had one. I already had one. I already, I already had one. Boom. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. The time was 1 a.m. All the windows have been closed. All the televisions have been turned off. None of the lights have been left flickering. And then it arrived. And I'm right back at my post. And I have no reason to get hurt. But I still don't understand why he got clapped the first time, though. I don't get it. Oh! Oh! The door, Berlin! The door! The door. Wow. Amazing, amazing. Now I'm never losing. Also, he don't give out the medicine. He's not the doctor. Heard you. Body. All the windows have been closed. All the phones have been answered correctly. At this point, the pain meds given to Mr. Lane Boyd earlier in the day had started to wear off. So despite his wife's insistence, they put he went to inquire about it. And then it arrived. I lo I, bro, I lost two people. I'm sorry. I can't stomach that. I can't stomach that. I don't even want to see what happened. Y'all look it up on somebody else's channel, y'all. That's my bad, y'all. I can't. I can't, bro. I can't. I can't, bro. It's already been an hour. I'm not finna watch him get clapped like uh. I'm not finna watch him get clapped like that. No, bro. Continue, continue. Let's go, let's go, Milton. Okay, so she's good. No, no, no. I rebuke this. Yep, move. I think my back's beginning to start hurting again. Guess that medicine, medicine I had earlier wore off or something. I got you, big bro. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you? I gotta check the bathroom, bro. Don't you worry about a thing. Is she in the room? Sir, I've brought you your scheduled pain medication. Just in time, my back was starting to act up again. Whoa. I knew it. I knew it. Like, where else could she be? Hello. And this is the waiting area. Strange things are happening and I need you to get back to your room, please. You I don't know, bro. You here for fun, bro. You checked yourself in. That's somebody who do crime just to go to jail for fun. Like 
Okay, I got enough time to just do one pass, make sure everybody's doors is closed, including hers. Perfect, and we're done. Mm-hmm. You ain't tired, bro. You there, like Vermander. Doing all this over a 1%, bro. You ain't Tesla, bitch. You ain't Apple. We're not making bread like that. That, hunt, that 1% is not even that lucrative, bro. This would have been a perfect opportunity for a jump scare, though. Like, you open up your eyes and, like, Vermander's staring at you, then it just fade to, to like, it just disintegrate or something? I don't know, bro. That's why I leave it up to Zed, bro, because what was that? Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, he did it. There, there was somebody, bro, I swear to you, there was just somebody there. There was just somebody there. Bro, I got the chills. Oh, I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta look at that back. I gotta look at that footage back. I gotta look at that footage back, bro. I know I seen something. Then the sun began to rise upon our little town. And the demon could not stay in this world much longer. However, in direct violation of the Vermander Pact, no blood had been spilled that night. The most important part of the, of the pact had not been fulfilled, which meant that the agreement was now null and void. After generations of being enslaved to the Vermander family, the demon was finally free. And though it did not have much time left, it knew exactly how it wished to spend its final moments. Hopefully we're going to Vermander House. I need to look at that footage back. Yes. Sweet retribution. But then, but then, bro, Vermander shows up at the end of Man, on, Man in the Window too. Hannah, what in the world are you doing back here this early? Hannah? <laughs> Put your hands up. Oh. It's you. Don't you have some work to be doing? What do you want? Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you go forgetting that you work for me, mister. I command you to get out of here. Why won't you listen to me, you stupid? <laughs> See ya, Vermander. The angry howls of the demon echoed throughout the town that morning. And then the estate fell deathly quiet. As it turned out, Hannah hadn't left for the Vermander estate that previous night. She had been far too tired to return home after feeding instructions through the phone all night. Instead, she fell asleep in one of the manor's empty rooms. She was awakened by the awful noises emitting from upstairs. Hannah climbed the stairs and quickly made her way over to the office. Inside, there lie J.P. Vermander. Beaten, unmoving, and absolutely mangled. But against all the odds, he was still alive. Hannah had a choice to make. A large part of her wanted to simply leave him there to give him the same disrespect and disregard that he showed to the others. She turned to leave, but deep down she knew that this wasn't the right thing to do. As bad as he was, she would not stoop to his level. So instead, she called for help. <clears throat> Excuse me, damn. On the last line too? You would think I ain't been eating chicken stylus lately. I knew, I, knew, I knew she's gonna bring him here. In an ironic turn of events, J.P. Vermander's life was saved at the very same hospital he had tried to rid himself of. Despite their rightful and justified anger at the man, Dr. Ida and Norse Morton treated him with no different than any other patient. And he was soon on the road to a full recovery. During his stay in the hospital, he was given a room near the front. Day after day, he watched the patients as they came and went. He watched as the hospital's only doctor and sole nurse did their best to help every person that arrived. And as he watched, he realized something. Those confusing numbers on that little piece of paper actually meant something. Those numbers represented actual people. People with lives and emotions. People that just wanted to get the help they deserved. It took a near-death experience at the hands of an angry demon and an intensive stay in the hospital. 
But JP finally felt something that no Vermander had felt for a very long time. Remorse. And he vowed he would do everything in his power to try and make amends. Vermander had to come to the hood to realize his money is, is doing actual work? And you finna just take that? Bro, his tax dollars is doing something. And you wanna rob people of, uh, of medicine? over 1%, bro. I don't need to be playing this. Send, send this game to every greedy goblin that you know in life, bro. Loki, Loki, everybody need this, bro. This this was, I like this, I like this. This this had a great message in it. That's why nobody coming to visit you, bitch. However, due to the pact being broken, most of the wealth and power it granted was soon lost to crippling debt. With no other options, JP sold off his estate and assets to pay his dues. And the last remaining bit of his fortune was donated to the hospital. As a sign of goodwill, Dr. Ida let him stay in one of their vacant rooms until he could- Oh my gosh! Shout out, Dr. Bro! Bro, this game is fire! This is, this is probably Zed's best one. I haven't played them all, but he is currently working as a food delivery driver to make ends meet, as he wasn't qualified for anything else. Though he does miss his money in his old lifestyle, in the end, he's just thankful to still be alive. Morton settled into his new job as nurse just fine. Despite the rough first night, he grew to love, strange new love the strange new town and its people. In the end, he knew that decision to move here was the best one for both him and his daughter. Bro, he need to check himself in and fix that eye. Is that a sty? What's, what happened, bro? Somebody sock your ass out, Martin! Ida is still the best and only doctor in town. She plans to use the donation money to renovate the hospital so that they can provide the best care possible for years and years of, didn't I do it for you? And now that they had an actual budget, she decided to hire on an accountant. Hannah happily accepted the position as her old job was no longer available. Now Hannah like this above JP. Crazy bro, life can change in an instant. That's why I always try and just live a life positively, trying to help people, trying to do the right thing. Because bro, it can flip in an instant. And I feel like bro, I, I have enough credit in the bank with people to where like, if I was down and out and I had to sell everything I had, I got a few couches I can sleep on bro. A few dinner tables I can get a plate at bro. That's what life is about. We've seen it for ourselves, bro. The government can shut this bitch down and keep us in the house. We might have only relationships at the end of the day. The dollar might not mean nothing in 20, 30 years, bro. We don't know. You gotta treat people right, bro. You can't JP Manor this shit, bro. Real talk, you gotta Dr. E to this one, bro. As her old job was no longer available, she's, gladly, she's glad to finally have a boss that appreciates her hard work. And though it took a while, she did eventually forgive her Manor for all his misdeeds. The hospital had a bright future ahead of it and everyone was on good terms. And that's all that mattered. She's smiling at bro, like, yeah, it's me. Wow. This felt like a like an old folk tale or something, bro. Like a tortoise in the hare kind of story or something like that. But this was dope though. What's the stars mean? Ah, I'm sure y'all telling me in the comments. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That has been the Vermander Curse by Zed Technician. Zed, salute to you, bro. This was a great one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, like, subscribe. If you're new, the best. You always want to post more videos, bro. I love y'all, and I will see you in the next video. Peace, y'all.